Uh, we now know the names of the drivers involved in a serious crash on the Spalding Turnpike in Dover. Uh, this morning, a toll booth remains closed after state police say a tractor trailer slammed into it yesterday afternoon. The truck collided with a car before hitting the toll booth. Ray Brewer joins us live this morning in Dover, and Ray officials say drivers can expect delays through that toll plaza, toll plaza today, right? That's right. With that booth expected to be down for several days, Sean, state police telling us, well, the drivers could cause some headaches for them, especially heading southbound on the Spalding Turnpike. It was just before 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon when that tractor trailer driven by 47-year-old Roland Joy, according to state police, crashed into a car before slamming into the toll booth on the southbound side. Now, Joy and the driver of the car, 69-year-old John Worley, suffered minor injuries. State police say they don't know why the driver of the tractor trailer suddenly sped up before reaching the tolls. Based on the damage and, and the, uh, the witness statement, say it went right up over the top of the booth, uh, took out the entire booth, and then came to rest on the northbound side. Now, DOT engineers say the destroyed booth did not support the roof of the toll plaza. Otherwise, there could have been a collapse. Again, that third lane, an easy pass lane here on the southbound side, is expected to be closed for several days, so you should expect some delays. Reporting live in Dover, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.